G'day guys and welcome back to my 12th episode of Quick Reviews. In today's episode, I'm looking at the harrowing true story, Where Are My Children? It follows a mother's desperate attempts to find the children who've been stolen away from her. Marge Helgenberger plays Vanessa Scott. She's a single mother and a part-time waitress struggling to provide for her three beautiful children. The year is 1962 and society has yet to accept her non-traditional family. When she is sentenced to a three-month prison term for a minor infraction, Vanessa is plunged into a legal nightmare. Upon her return home, she discovers that her children are missing. But that's just the beginning. Contact with social services yields no paper trail. When she escalates her concerns to a local district judge, she's fobbed off with callous disregard. Even the school principal denies her children were ever enrolled. It's almost as if Vanessa is trapped in an episode of Twilight Zone. Those around her, even acquaintances, act as if her children never existed. In fact, most want nothing to do with her. As I was watching, I couldn't help but feel utterly horrified. I could not imagine a greater horror than a mother's children being denied from her. But not just that. As the story plays out, literally decades of time passes by. Vanessa is forced to move on with life, but the agony of not knowing leaves her completely hollow. She tries to start a new family, but the weight of her burden leaves the relationship loveless. Her partner eventually turns violent, and she flees with her son David to California. She later remarries and rebuilds her life again, but tragedy is never far away. Her hopes are always dashed, and it seems that turmoil is unending. I must admit that this was a challenge to watch, not because it was awful, but because I felt both upset and infuriated at the same time. The intolerable treatment that was inflicted upon this poor woman is a national disgrace, and to think it happened in America makes it even more poignant. Marge Helgenberger's performance was sublime, as was Chris Noth and Corbin Bernson in their contrasting roles. If it wasn't for the tearjerker happy ending, it would have been hard to recommend this movie. But, as it stands, it's earned a well-deserved final rating of 3.5 halos out of 5. If you're interested in seeing more of this movie, please follow the links in the description and comment section of this video. As always, if you're enjoying my quick review series and want to watch more, please subscribe and press the notification bell. I've also created a playlist so you can keep up to date with all my previous episodes. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up for good luck, and I'll catch you in the next one. This is Holy Critic, signing out.